Hi, this is me and Aaron Longbone, a uh, model project video, and we hope you enjoy. We are showing the Osteon, the Lamellae, the Haversian Canal, the Lacunae, the Osteocytes, the Calaculi, the Osteoblasts, and the Osteoclasts. So the uh, Osteon is the chief structural unit of the compact bone. The lamellae helps to increase the amount of oxygen intake in the blood. The Haversian canal acts uh, as a communicator between the bone cells of the bone. The lacunae helps to form a system of cavities connected by minute canal canals. Osteocytes help uh, in bone formation. Calaculae help um, link the lacunae together. Osteoblasts help in bone formation, and osteoclasts help to break down bone and is responsible for bone respiration. Osteocytes, osteoblasts, and osteoclasts are all within the lacunae and are in or around the lamellae. The lamellae is the center of these straws and the border of these straws are the canali culi. Lacunae contains the osteocytes which are represented by the glue dots and the osteon is the toilet paper roll which is painted yellow. The Haversian canal is the red and blue straws protruding out of the out of the toilet paper roll. Okay, and now moving on to our second bone model. Um, we are going to start with the perforating fibers. Um, we chose to represent these with the glue strands just because of their fibrous texture, and the fibers work to connect the parasitium to the compact bone. The compact bone's main function is to provide the bone with uh, strength and resistance and rigidity and we chose to represent that with a strong um, straw. Um, we then move on to the parasitium which we chose to represent with the outside white part of the toilet paper roll and the parasitium's main function is to provide um, support to the bone and then we move on to the endosteum. The endosteum we represented with the uh, inside of the paper towel just because of the similar texture and the endosteum's uh, main function is to act like a lining for the cavities of long bones and together the parasitium and the endosteum work to um, grow the bone diameter and then we have the yellow bone marrow which we chose to represent with a piece of pasta just because of the color and the texture and the yellow bone marrow serves to store fats. And lastly, we have the overview of bone, long bone model. Um, we are going to start with the spongy bone, which we chose to represent with a sponge, uh, just because of the same like texture and consistency. And the spongy bone um, helps to store bone marrow and is the site of erythropoiesis. Um, the ephysius um, is represented by the blue outer edges of the um, bone and the ephesis um, helps to give the bone its rounded shape and accounts for much of the bone's um, range of motion. The diaphasis is uh, the, represented by the long portion of the paper towel roll and its main function is to make the long bone its long length. And then we have the medullary cavity, which we represented with the gap between the two straws of the compact bone. And the medullary cavity, um, its main function is to store bone marrow. We hope you enjoyed our bone project. Okay, hi. Sorry to make the video longer, but I just wanted to add in a note as to why Aaron is not talking about the video. Um, I edited the video, and I'm not the brightest person, and so I deleted it, like half of the audio. Um, that Aaron recorded, and so I had to record it for myself, but she, like, was a great partner, she did a lot of work, so didn't want you to think, like, oh my gosh, Aaron, like, you didn't do anything, she did a lot, so, bye, thank you for watching our video.